Hey everybody, it's Kate. Today I am bringing you our spring break haul. Everything that we purchased from staying at Vero Beach to staying at the Poly and everywhere in between. So if you're interested, just keep watching and we're going to go ahead and get started. So I've got a few things at Bureau Beach Resort. I'm going to show you some of the free things that we got. We got our first visit buttons. My mom also got one and she got a birthday button, but I think they're, they're still in her suitcase. I'm not sure where they went, but I do have Abel and Caitlin for visiting Vero Beach for the first time. Another really fun freebie that Vero Beach has are these PhotoPass postcards. So they have a PhotoPass photo booth kiosk in the right off the lobby kind of by the game room area and you can go and just take silly pictures and put different backgrounds and you can choose either a one photo or a three photo these are two of the background options I think that there are maybe four or five different designs you could pick from and it's a really fun way to commemorate your day we kind of thought about doing one every day that we were there but we just decided to do one on our first day and then we did one on the day we went kayaking because those are pretty memorable. So we got two and we're actually going to send these to Abel's family. We've got, I've got a big Disney bag of stuff going for them that we need to mail out. Another thing that we got as a freebie was for my mom and it is actually a birthday card. So we kind of had this be our spring break and my mom's birthday is March 3rd. So I marked that we had a birthday in the party and they brought her a signed birthday card from Goofy and Donald and they're dressed as pirates because on Monday nights they have a special pirate dinner. We actually went to sign up in the lobby for the 7.30 show and it was canceled due to non-interest or not enough people had signed up. So that was a little bit of a bummer but it gives us something to look forward to next time we go. And so we got that for mom. The probably my favorite freebie actually are these. We got these when we checked into the resort. So we had an older woman named Gail check us in and she just was the sweetest thing there ever could be and we were talking about the resort mugs and how we probably weren't going to do that this trip because we were only staying at the resort for four days, um, four nights and then we were just in talking with her checking us in she asked what my mom liked to drink and she said that she's a soft drink or soda pop drinker and she got my mom this Tervis tumbler and it says Disney's Vero Beach Resort, a Disney Vacation Club Resort on it. And then for Abel and I, because he said he likes coffee and I like tea, she got us the same thing, Disney's Vero Beach Resort, a Disney Vacation Club mugs. So to get these for free when mugs at the parks can cost upwards of $15, $20. I thought that that was really special. Um, there's a little bit of a scuff on it. I think it's because it rubbed up against this one, but free. So that was awesome. And I'm banging them around. The last free thing we got was one of the nights we were able to play a match or mate game. So it's kind of like, I'll just tell you what we did. So we were given whiteboards, my husband and I, and then they would ask a question like, what is your mate's favorite color? So on Abel's whiteboard, he had to answer what he thought my favorite color was. And on my whiteboard, I wrote down what I thought Abel's favorite color was. And we would reveal them. And if we were both correct, if he wrote the correct color for me and I wrote the correct color for him, our team would get a point. And in the second round, we won a free koozie. So again, it just says Dero's, Dero's, Disney's Vero Beach Resort a Disney Vacation Club Resort and it is a little blue koozie I thought was way cute. So then the things I actually just purchased myself um, were two things. The first being this pin. I am a huge pin collector if you guys have watched my channel um, or know me. So I'm really wanting to collect a pin for all of the resorts that we stay at. So I have this Disney's Vero Beach Resort pin and then I made a donation to the Worldwide Conservation Fund and I got this. Now what's really exciting about this is this is the old style of conservation buttons. Disney's Animal Kingdom and I think that Walt Disney World were 
resort parks in general here in Florida have streamlined to a round button that has a sea turtle. I think there's an elephant on one. There's a couple different designs, but they no longer have the resort specific ones anymore. So I saw this and was really excited because I had a collection going when we first moved here about four years ago now that Disney has since done away with. So I really wanted to pick that up. So I donated a dollar and got that badge. And then the last thing that I got at Vero Beach is this zip up. I had been looking at it the entire time we were there and then I got it for myself on the last day and it proved to be very useful because the weather for the parks, it was a lot colder and windier than I packed for. So shame on me for not looking at the weather before packing, but I assumed living in Florida I wouldn't need a jacket, so I didn't pack one. But it says Adventures Out There, which absolutely reminded me of Wilderness Explorers, so I was already sold. But then I just loved the font, I love the sea turtles, and then the front, it's just a basic zip up, and it has... Disney's Vero Beach on the front left breast area, chest area. Um, another thing I really liked about it too is that it is a little more, I think it's made to look a little faded, a little worn in, and I kind of like that, especially on this gray color. It just kind of looks like it's been loved and worn. So that is everything that I got at Vero Beach Resort. So this is totally random, but good job Cracker Barrel for coming through and fueling my Disney addiction. I found this. This is the second Disney hat I've purchased because I really like my Minnie Mouse run Disney one. And so this is Navy. It has classic Minnie. She's got on her light blue polka dot skirt, her red bow and yellow shoes. But what's also really fun is the underside of the brim is red with white polka dots. So. I really liked this and I think it was around $12 or so. I took off the tag because I ended up wearing it at the resort. So super happy with that. One of the days we went to McKee Botanical Garden and it was stunning. Mostly my souvenir was the pictures that I was able to take of the gardens and my mom and I and my husband and I, but I did want to pick up something. And I think you guys can see in the background of my videos, I kind of have a little Chotsky, a little knickknack storage going on right here. I've got some Yufufi, some Tsum Tsums, and some of the little blind mystery boxes that I've opened. So I decided to pick up this guy. He is a little bobblehead turtle, and I thought that he just would sit so perfectly underneath here with all of the rest of my knickknacks and he was $2.99, so I just thought he was precious and that he would fit along with this little family down here. So before we drove out of Vero and checked in to the Polynesian, we did a little bit of downtown Vero shopping. We actually wanted to go to this place called Countryside Citrus that we did end up going to that is a pretty sought after local place that sells ices and slushies and frozen yogurts and different things like that all around fresh Florida citrus. So we went there and we got some ice cream and we did a little bit of shopping and we went into a shop called the Beach Shop. Clever. Um, and I picked up this bathing suit. It's more of a bodysuit really. It was $71 which is a bit pricey. It's from the brand Hobie, H-O-B-I-E. But I have another one of these types of swimsuits by Body Glove that is a one piece with sleeves and I really like it, especially like when my husband and I went kayaking where I just want to be a little more covered up. I think that this is just really functional and beautiful. So I really like this one because it's long sleeve so it gives me an option. I now have a long sleeve and a short sleeve version and I just love these colors. I'm really into pastels right now. so. I think that's just because it's springtime. So the peaches, the mints, I just think this was really, really pretty. So a little bit pricey, but I was really excited about that. Moving on to the Polynesian Resort, I only ended up getting two things from the Poly. Um, even though it's my home resort, it was 
not not my favorite I don't know I still have mixed feelings about it and I think I'm probably going to do a sit down video talking about our different stays if you guys are interested in that and just to kind of let myself get out my own thoughts too because there are definitely pros and cons to both Vero and Polly but I much preferred Vero over Polly anyway I got two things so again I wanted to get a pin for every resort I've stayed at so I picked up the Polynesian pin and my, again, my mom got a birthday card. This one was from Mickey. It says, gosh, hope you have a magical celebration. Your pal, Mickey Mouse. So, super cute. But those are the only things I got from Polynesian. Probably one of my favorite nights on the trip was going to DVC Moonlight Magic. We'd gone to the Magic Kingdom one with our friends Amber and Tom and had a blast. This time I was able to bring my co-worker, my departmentalization team partner Dawn and she brought her son Brandon and then Amber was able to meet us there again. So it was just so much fun being able to be at the park in an exclusive event like that because it's not high crowds, the wait times are significantly down from what they normally are, they have exclusive things like meet and greets, Food is free, we got hot dogs and chips and cookies and soda. It just is a really fun time and I'm so, so grateful that that is a perk of being a DVC member. It's a blast. So I wanted to show you the things we got there. Um, when you went into the park, you got a wristband because they wanted to be able to identify you from a normal park guest saying that you're here for the event. But we also got a Dinorama game credit voucher. So this was my mom's. She ended up not using it, obviously, which is why I still have it. But I thought that was really cool because now I have it to keep and scrapbook. My voucher I did use, and I didn't win anything. My husband used his voucher, and he actually won the game he was playing. And he won this purple dinosaur. And he thinks we should name him Chester, since the area over there is called Chester and Hester's. And I think that's a cute name. So this is Chester, my purple dinosaur, and he's really cute. Um, and it was free from the event because we got the vouchers for free. He played the game and won, so I thought that was super cute. Um, I did pick up a shirt for myself. They did not have any merchandise that I was aware of for the Magic Kingdom event, and I was really bummed out about it because I'm definitely somebody that likes a shop and I like merchandise and having things that are exclusive like this because this is just fun I can rock it the rest of the year it says 2018 but even when it's not 2018 I can still wear it but I like having this stuff for the weekends hanging around the house it's just comfortable and it's a great memento you know it's a great way to help me remember the fun night I had so as you guys can see it says Disney Vacation Club Moonlight Magic 2018 Animal Kingdom and it features Pumbaa on the front and it's a really pretty kind of tealy color and Amber actually got the shirt as well so we are t-shirt buddies I loved that and then I picked this up for Abel it is wrinkled because he wore it all the next day and then shoved it in his suitcase like this because I swear that's how he packs um, but hey to each their own so it is a 20th anniversary t-shirt it's kind of oversized as you guys can tell almost like a baseball tee with the different colored sleeves and the striping but the animals that make up the 20 so there's a giraffe, a tiger, a zebra, a rhino, a lion all embedded in the design of the 20 so I think that this is really cool and this is probably around 25 or 30 I don't remember how much that was my DVC shirt was $27.99 so that's everything I got from the Moonlight Magic event Just like my vacation, I feel like this is quickly coming to an end. The last couple things I have to show you are from Epcot and then Magic Kingdom. Starting with Epcot, I did participate in the egg extravaganza. I do these egg hunts every year, any of the hunts really. Excuse me. The Remy's Hide and Squeak. I did the Figments Brush with the Artists. Any festival that they have that they do a scavenger hunt, I always do it because it's like six bucks. It's super fun and interactive. 
I just love them. So I went ahead and got that. And then the prize, again, are these eggs. So I picked up Belle. And again, I figured she would sit here on my little knickknack shelf, just like that. So super happy about that. And then the last thing I got from Epcot was another spirit jersey because I have a spirit jersey problem. No shame in this game. I'm all about these. I think that they are comfortable. I think that they are way cute. Disney is coming out with some really cute designs. Um, as you can see, this one is navy and red and white, the colors of America, and it features Mickey with little America flag pants. He's so darn cute. And then on the back is where it gets real patriotic. It says USA across the back. And this one was $65.99. Typically the spirit jerseys are $59.99 at the parks. I am thinking because it had the different fabrics, the striping on the bottom attached to the solid on top. I think maybe that's why it was a little more expensive. I'm not sure. But I will say for Disney that typically when you're buying Disney merchandise, you're partially paying for the brand name and it is more expensive but when I was in Vero Beach and we were walking around that beach shop where I got my bathing suit they had spirit jerseys and their spirit jerseys I think were 56 or 54 something like that so if Disney's charging 59 that's not that much of a markup so I will give Disney that um, but that's everything I got from Epcot Last thing was Magic Kingdom and actually mom got herself some things which I was really excited about because we've lived here for near four years and she doesn't do a lot of Disney merchandise shopping for herself so I was really excited that she found some things she loved. First off she got herself some sunglasses. You can never have too many pairs. You can keep one in your purse, one in your car, one at home, wherever. And these ones are really fun because they have Swarovski crystals that make the Mickey heads along the arm. I think that this is called the arm of the sunglass. So those are really pretty. I don't remember how much these were. She also found herself two t-shirts. Two t-shirts. This one is way cute. It is Minnie's bows all over and just says Minnie Mouse down at the bottom. So I love that one for her. I actually went, we went to Storybook Circus. That's where we found all of these items and probably one of my favorite shops at Magic Kingdom. And they have a really nice dressing room. So she was able to go in, try on a couple different sizes, try on a couple different tops. It was really fun. Here's the second one she got. It's white, again, with the mini bows all over it. But what's really fun about this one, if you, I mean, I think it's fun, some people may not, is it's completely open. See, it's a completely open flyaway back, so you might want to wear a cami underneath it. When it's resting on you, it doesn't expose you in any way. It is closed. However, I feel like if it may be windy that day, it could blow up the back of the shirt, so that's up to you. There was a tag, yes. This was $36.99, so I think that the gray one was the same price. I got a box of Kingdom of Cute. I have the teacup and the Jungle Cruise boat. So this time I got, oh I just ripped the box, I didn't mean to do that. I got the Haunted Mansion gargoyle and the Sword in the Stone statue. So I now have these four which means I need Space Mountain, the Dole Whip, Dumbo, and whatever that blue one is. I think he's supposed to be the people mover or that skyline thing. Not sure, but he's cute, so I'm going to collect him to finish off my set. The very last thing that I got myself was this November Crystals from Swatsky ring. It was tan, so I believe it was $19.99, but I got November because it is the month of my marriage instead of getting May which is my birthday and ironically my husband's birthday as well. Anything with birthstone jewelry I usually get my birthstone so I thought that it would be just unique and different to have something in November instead of May and the November I don't know what the name of the gemstone is but it's kind of a orangey 
I don't know, I'll have to look it up and like put a caption here. But it's really pretty and it's kind of almost like gold orange and I just thought it was really nice. It's got a little Mickey hat on top and it wraps around and has a star on the bottom and it's adjustable so you can kind of bend it to fit whichever finger you want it to fit. So that is everything I got over spring break. It didn't seem like that much but like looking at it all laying together, it's a little ridiculous but we just had so much fun. I am so grateful that I was able to bring you guys along and film every day. Those vlogs are going up. And I hope you guys enjoy coming along with us and watching and that you enjoyed this video. I, I watch, that's what I watch on YouTube is Disney hauls because I have a problem. So <laughs> please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy or if you just like watching Disney hauls because you're crazy like me. And subscribe if you haven't already and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!